Director, thank you for your, your patience. Um, I want to clear up some things. Um, I want to make sure I understand exactly what you testified to on the issue of whether Secretary Clinton sent or received emails that were marked as classified. On Tuesday, you stated, and I quote, only a very small number of the emails containing classified information bore markings, and I emphasize, bore markings indicating the presence of classified information, end of quote. Republicans have pounced on this statement as evidence that the Secretary Clinton lied. But today, we learned some significant new facts, and I hope the press listens to this. First, you clarified that you were talking about only three e e emails out of 30,000 your office reviewed. Is that right? Three, yes. Three out of 30,000. Is that right? Yes, at least 30,000. At least 30,000. And you confirmed that these three emails were not properly marked as classified at the time based on federal guidelines and manuals. They did not have a classification header. They did not list the original classifier, the agency, office of origin, reason for classification, or date for declassification. Instead, these emails included only a single, quote, C, parenthesis, in parenthesis, and then end of quotation mark for, for confidential on one paragraph lower down in the text. Is that right? Correct. Third, you testified that based on these facts, it would have been a, quote, reasonable inference for Secretary Clinton to, quote, immediately, end of quote, conclude that these emails were not, in fact, classified. So that was also critical new information. But there's one more critical fact, that these emails were not, in fact, and that is this, uh, Director, and to the press, these emails were not, in fact, classified. The State Department explained to us yesterday, they reported that these emails are not classified and that in including this, the little c on these emails was a result of a human error. The bottom line is that those little c's should not have been on those documents because they were not, in fact, classified. When Representative Watson Coleman asked you a few minutes ago about this, you testified that you had not been informed. And I understand that. I'm not beating up on you, I promise you. Um, but can you tell us why, Director Coleman, because I want, you know, because of Pouncing saying that the Secretary lied, and, and, and so I want to make sure we're clear on this. Can you tell us why, Director Coleman, did you consult, and we're just curious, did you consult with the State Department about these uh, three emails uh, out of the more than 30,000? Uh, did this uh, just not come up? Uh, what happened there? Yeah, I, I, not remembering for sure while I'm here, I'm, I'm highly confident we consulted with them and got their view on it. it. I don't know about what happened yesterday. It may be that their view has changed or they found things out that we didn't know. But uh, I'm highly confident we consulted with them about it. So this is totally different than, than what we understood yesterday. Today we learned that these emails were not, in fact, classified. They should not have been included. Uh, uh, those in the, the, they should have not included those stray markings. They were not properly marked as classified, and the director of the FBI uh, believes it was reasonable for Secretary Clinton to assume that these documents were not classified.